Hello Grade 10 students! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. At kung bago ka lang sa aking YouTube channel, welcome to my channel. So meron na naman tayo dito mathematics lesson under ng first quarter, which is the division of polynomials. So primarily na-discuss ko na to dun sa mga previous videos ko, but uh, this time, uh, magbibigay ako ng another example para mas maintindihan siya ng maigi. Okay, so we have two ways on dividing polynomials. The first one is the long division, and the second one is the synthetic division. In this particular video, ang i-discuss ko sa inyo ay ang division of polynomials using long division. Okay, so bago tayo mag-start, dapat malinaw na sa inyo kung paano tayo nag identify ng polynomial. Kailan natin masasabi na ang isang algebraic expression ay polynomial? Paano tayo nag arrange ng polynomial in standard form and in factored form? Paano natin ina-identify yung mga degree? In that way, mas, uh, madali nyo nang maintindihan ngayon si division of polynomials. Kung hindi nyo pa naintindihan yun, I'll just put the link on the description box ng ating previous video ng illustrating polynomials. So, this time kasi magpo-proceed na tayo in dividing polynomials. Okay. So, in dividing polynomials using long division, all you have to do, uh, all you have to do first is to identify if it is polynomial, of course. Kapag na-identify nyo na if it is polynomial, i-check nyo ngayon kung, may, kung it is written in standard form. Pag written na siya in standard form, i-check nyo ngayon kung merong missing degrees. Okay, kapag naka-check na lahat yon, we, we, we may now proceed on dividing the polynomials using long division. Okay, so division of polynomials using long division is, uh, is like dividing a normal number. Let's say, for example, sige, bagi ako ng konting example dito. Let us say, for example, we have 29 divided by 5. So, paano ba natin binidivide si 29 by 5? So, basically, 29 will, is our dividend, 5 is our uh, divisor. So, ilalagay natin sa loob si 29 divided by 5. 2 divided by 5 cannot be, so hanap pa tayo, isama natin si 9 ngayon. 29 divided by 5 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 29 minus 25 is 4. So, the answer is 5, remainder, remainder 4. Or, 5 plus 4 over 5. So, ganyan natin siya inire-represent. Si remainder over ni uh, divisor and then yung ating quotient. Okay. So, bakit ko diniscuss sa inyo yun? Kasi we will follow the same rule in dividing our polynomials. Okay. So, let's get started. Let us say, for example, we have 2x squared plus 5x minus 23 divided by x plus 5. So, primarily, sabi ko nga sa inyo, you have to determine if it is written. So, obviously, polynomial sila, di ba? If it is written in standard form. Pag sinabi natin standard form, it should be in uh, decreasing exponent. So, nagsimula siya kay raised to 2, kay raised to 1, hindi lang natin nilalagay, pero raised to 1 yun, and then raised to 0. Pag raised to 0, yung x raised to 0 automatic equal to 1. So, wala lang yun, kaya wala siyang katabi. So, tama naman ito, itong unang itong dividend natin is written in standard form. x plus 5 is also written in standard form. Okay, next, missing degree, 2, 1, 0. So that means we do not have missing degrees. So we may now proceed on dividing these two. Ayan. So lagay muna natin yung ating dividend. We have 2x squared plus 5x minus 23 divided by x plus 5. Okay. So, ganito tayo nag-divide ngayon ng polynomial since it is an expression. Ito lang lagi ang focus natin. Ito at ito. Okay. Paano yon? 2x squared divided by x. Again, 2x squared divided by x. Alam natin na 2 cannot be divided by x. So, lalagay natin dito ay 2. Ayan. Next. x squared can be divided by x. Kasi i-subtract lang natin yung exponent niya, so minus 1 lang tayo kay 2, ay kay x raised to 2, magiging x na lang siya. So, 2x. And then, i-multiply natin ngayon yung naging sagot natin sa dalawa. Sa dalawa na to. So, 2x, 2x times x 
is 2x squared. 2x times 5, 2 times 5 is 10, so we have positive 10x. Okay, and then, um, change the sign of the subtrahend, it will become minus, it will become negative, and then proceed to addition. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. 5 plus negative 10 is negative 5x. Negative, uh, sorry, positive 5x plus negative 10x is negative 5x. 2x squared plus negative 2x is 0. So, cancel na yun. Okay. Next, let us bring down the remaining one which is negative 23. Ganun ulit yung prosesa natin. Ito lang muna yung focus natin at ito. Negative 5x divided by x is negative 5. Ganun na. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times positive 5 is negative 25. Okay. And then, change the sign. It will become positive. It will become positive and then plus. Negative 23 plus positive 25 is positive 2. Negative 5x plus positive 5x is cancelled. So, kung ano yung sagot natin dito sa dulo, ito yung tinatawag nating remainder. Okay ha? Remainder. Ito yung tinatawag nating quotient. Itong nasa loob, dividend. Itong nasa labas, divisor. So, paano natin ngayon i-express yung answer natin? So, our answer will be, ilalagay natin yung quotient natin, at yung final answer, 2x minus 5. Plus, plus, the remainder, ang remainder natin ay 2, over, yung ating uh, divisor na x plus 5. So, ganyan natin ina-express yung ating final answer. Again, light na natin yung quotient which is 2x minus 5 plus yung remainder natin which is 2 over nung kanyang divisor. Okay, let's have another example. 10x squared plus 2x raised to 4 plus 8 plus 7x cubed divided by 2x squared plus x minus 1. So, huwag kayong masyadong ma-overwhelm kung parang ganit medyo komplikado yung uh, example. Okay, we will still follow the same procedure. So, uh, you'll still, you will still be on the track. So, hindi kayo uh, mahihirapan. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to identify the polynomial if it is written in standard form. Pag sinabi natin standard form, the degree must be decreasing. So, dapat decreasing. Pababa yung degree. But as you notice, 2, naging 4, naging 0, and then naging 3. So that means it is not written in standard form. So anong gagawin natin? We have to write it in standard form. Mauuna si x raised to 4. So we have positive 2x raised to 4. Followed by 7x cubed. Tama, 7x cubed. Followed by... 10x squared, positive 10x squared, followed by plus 8, divided by 2x squared plus x minus 1 is already written in standard form. So we don't need to write it, rewrite it anymore. Okay, next. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, kapag ka, when we are dividing using long division and synthetic division, we have to determine if there are there are or there is missing degree. Okay, since it is raised to 4, yung highest degree natin, dapat meron tayong raised to 3, raised to 2, and raised to 1. So, there is one uh, term missing. Ano yun? Yung raised to 1. So, yung raised to 1 natin, i -re rewrite natin as 0x. So, 2x raised to 4, lahat ng missing natin, inirera write natin as 0x. 7x cubed plus 10x squared plus 0x plus 8. If the missing is cubed, so 0x cubed. If the missing is squared, 0x squared divided by 2x squared plus x minus 1. Okay, since 
It's already in standard form. There are no missing degrees. We can now proceed on dividing the two polynomials. So, lagay muna natin si dividend. Ang dividend natin ay 2x raised to 4 plus 7x cubed plus 10x squared plus 0x plus 8. Divided by 2x squared plus x minus 1. Okay. So, ang focus lang natin again, ito. Ayan, lagi yung una, yung focus natin. So, 2x raised to 4 divided by 2x squared is 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, hindi na natin ilalagay. x raised to 4 divided by x squared ay 4 minus 2, yung exponent, x squared na lang siya. So, x raised to 2. Then, multiply natin isa-isa. x squared times 2x squared is 2x raised to 4. Ayan. x squared times x is positive x cubed. Kasi na-add lang naman natin yung exponent when we are multiplying. x squared times negative 1 is negative x squared. Okay. And then, change the sign. It will become positive. It will become negative. It will become pos... Eh, sorry. It will become... Uh, negative. Ayan. And then, proceed to addition. Okay. 10x squared, dito muna tayo, 10x squared plus negative x squared. Ay, sorry. 10x squared plus positive x squared is 11x squared. Okay. Next. 7x cubed 7x cubed plus negative x cubed is what? 6x cubed. Ito ay positive ha? Positive 11x squared. So, it is uh, positive 6x cubed. Okay. And then, 2x squared plus negative 2x squared is cancelled. Okay. Alisin ko na yung positive. Wala na siyang kasunod. Okay. Next, let's bring down 0x plus 0x. Ito ulit focus natin. 6x cubed divided by 2x squared. 6 divided by 2 is positive 3. And then, x cubed divided by x squared is simply x. Okay. 3x times 2x squared is 6x cubed. 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x. Change the sign. It will become positive. It will become negative. It will become negative. And then add. 0x plus 3x is 3x. 11x squared plus negative 3x squared is positive 8x squared. Okay. Next, let's bring down the last one, which is 8. Positive 8. Okay. Dito ulit focus natin. 8x squared divided by 2x squared. So, 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then, x squared divided by x squared is 1. So, 4 times 1 is simply 4. So, positive 4. 4 times 2x squared is 8x squared. 4 times x is positive 4x. And then, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. And then, change the sign. It will become positive, negative, negative, and then add. 8 plus positive 4 is 12. Positive, sorry. Positive 12. And then, 3x plus negative 4x is simply negative x. So, ang natira natin ay negative x plus 12. So, hindi natin siya pwede i-divide kay 2x squared plus x minus 1. So, primarily, this will serve as our quotient and this is our remainder. So, paano natin i-express yung final answer natin? x squared plus 3x plus 4 
plus the remainder is negative x plus 12 over the divisor, which is 2x squared plus x minus 1. So, yun yung final answer natin for this problem. If you have questions or may tanong kayo sa inyong modules, gusto nyong pasagutan at kaya ko naman, feel free to comment it on our comment section. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.